Hey guys, welcome back to my inventory and declutter series. So today I'm gonna do my powders, which includes pressed powders, loose powders, and powder foundations. I have quite a few of them. I think I have a total of 34 powders, which includes a bunch of samples as well. So they're not all full sized, but I have a lot. So let's go ahead and get through these. I don't know how many I'm gonna get rid of, but let's check it out. So this is a Bi Allegory organizer, acrylic organizer. I actually keep this in my drawer to my clear cube. It just fits right nicely in here. And these are kind of products that I've been trying to use. So that's why I have them in that drawer. But uh, let's go ahead and start with this one because these are the ones that I'm trying to use right now at the moment. So first is like my Holy Grail favorite powder of life. This is the Becca Mineral, okay. So this is the Becca Perfect Skin Mineral Powder Foundation in the color Sand. I love this, as you can see, it's well loved. Um, I've hit pan on it. It just is a really nice finely milled powder. It doesn't make you look cakey. It doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of powder on your face. I actually don't use this as a powder foundation. I use it to set my liquid foundation, but I just absolutely love it. I love the shade. It's in the shade Sand, which is yellow undertoned which I find hard to find sometimes so this is like perfect I love it I love it I love it I love it so I would definitely repurchase this and I'm going to keep it and use it up I will be sad when it's gone because I feel like I need to get through other powders before I repurchase that next is the NARS translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder and as you can see this is well loved too I used to like this a lot but I've grown to love other things more and I just I don't really like it that much anymore. It's really hard to pick up product. It's very, very sheer. Um, I mainly like to use this to set under eye concealer, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and toss this. Just, I don't know, I don't really feel like using it anymore. I'm just gonna get rid of this. So one down, a bunch more to go. So, so next is the Makeup Forever HD Pressed Powder, and this is a translucent powder. They also have a loose version, which I do have. Um, but I prefer the pressed version. I think it's so much better than the loose version. As you can see, it's well loved as well. It's is almost gone. I will be sad when this one is. I will be sad when this one's gone as well. So it's a finely milled, pretty sheer, translucent powder. But it just really blurs any imperfections under your eyes when you use it to set under eye concealer. I also like it to set my foundation sometimes, but mainly for my concealer. So it's just a really great product. I love it. I would definitely repurchase this in the. Future, future, future. So this is the Amazonian Clay Pressed Mineral Powder in Fair. And this is really, really old. Um, it actually started getting a hard pan on it. I can't decide if I wanna get rid of this. I haven't really been using it too much. I put it in my to use pile, but I haven't been using it. So I'm gonna put this aside, this is a maybe. I don't remember like loving it, so. This is the Japanese Velvet Touch Finishing Powder. You can find these at Ulta. I really love the packaging on these Japanese products. They're really pretty and fancy. It says Japanese right there. So this is a yellow toned, very light yellow toned um, powder. And I like it. It's really soft and smooth. I like it to set foundation or under eye concealer. And I would definitely keep this. And I don't know that I would repurchase it because I do like a alternative to this that's cheaper, which I'll show you next. But this is a good powder, I do like it. So I'm going to keep that and use it up. This is the one that's kind of comparable to that. This is the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. I love this, you guys. It's so, 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 so nice. Um, it's, again, a very light yellow undertone, which I, Fine is really great for us with um, fair to light skin, but with a yellow undertone because a lot of times the yellow powders are just too yellow for my light complexion, but this one's perfect along with the Japanese. This one might be a hint darker than the Japanese. Let's see. Yeah, it is. It, it, it is a little bit more yellow. So um, the Japanese has a light little bit of a yellow undertone as well, but it's almost translucent. So I love this, it's finely milled, it's really soft and smooth, it blurs my under eye concealer, and I love to set my liquid foundation with this as well. So this is a favorite from the drugstore, I really love it. I would definitely repurchase that. This is the Revlon Nearly Naked 
powder and it's in fair this is really old but I've been trying to use this up I've been trying to hit pan on it <laughs> but I'm not making too much progress because I keep pulling out other powders but I think I'm gonna keep this I do want to use it up it's it's a nice powder I do like it so I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna use it up so that's nearly naked by rub one so this is the Lorac, this is the Porefection Baked Perfecting Powder, and this is in PF2, which is the light shade. And since I bought this, I bought this when they first came out with these, so it's really old. They've since came out with more shades. So this one, I've been trying to use it up. It's like a dome-shaped baked kind of product, but I've used quite a bit of it, as you can see my dip in it. Um, I'm trying to use this up. The only thing with this is it has more, I feel like, a, a pink undertone or a peach undertone. So that's why I'm not crazy about it. I like the product itself, but the color is just not, it's not that great of a match. But I do want to try to use this up. I mean, I think I'm going to hit pan on this pretty soon. So I'm just going to keep it and use that. So next is this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Protector Finishing Powder with goji berry spf 25 mine look the little plastic part right here fell off a long time ago so i glued it back in i have the shade buff beige and i don't even think this is a product out anymore i think it's been discontinued i really haven't used that much of it i don't know i find the texture of it not that smooth so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one i really don't use it that much and meh, might as well get rid of it this is the Neutrogena Mineral Shears Powder Foundation. It has an SPF of 20. I have mine in the shade Buff 30. This is one of my Holy Grail um, drugstore powders. I love this. It's just really, really so smooth and finely milled. I get the color Buff because it's more yellow toned. I love this so much. I've gone through probably like 10 of these, I swear. I've gone through so many over the last many, many years. The last many years, that doesn't even that's not even a sentence but whatever um, so yeah I've gone through so many of these I love it I don't really use it as a powder foundation often once in a while I will but I really like to use it to set my liquid foundation so this is just a fantastic product comes with a puff which I actually like and use these because you can wash them they're reusable and it just makes the foundation go off go, go on your skin really really smooth so I love this highly recommend it I know I don't, I've never heard anybody talk about this and I've talked about it numerous times on my channel over the years and I just love it so I'm keeping it. So next is the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder Rice Protein Complex. And this is, my, this is actually my second one of these. This is kind of a backup. I just recently opened this because I had it as a backup. It's not as smooth as some of my other like translucent powders but I'm going to keep it because I do like it for a drugstore product. So I'm gonna keep this one. So next are my Maybelline Fit Me powders. So let's see, this one is the Matte and Poreless, which is in Classic Ivory number 120. So this is for normal to oily skin. I'm going to keep this, I do like it. It's nice and smooth. Um, so I'm gonna keep this one. And then I actually just picked this up the other day because I wanted to try this one, which is the, for the normal to dry skin. And this is also in Classic Ivory number 120. So, yeah, this one feels a little bit smoother than the other one. And this one's more for people with dry skin, normal to dry skin, which is more of my skin right now. I used to be very oily, so that's why I decided to pick this one up because my skin's not very oily anymore. So I find I thought that this one would probably work a little bit better with my skin. So I picked up this one. It's crazy because sometimes you get the same shade, but in the same brand but they're not the same color you know this one's actually lighter even though it's the same shade name but that's okay they still both work for me so I'm gonna keep both of these this is the bare minerals ready foundation and this is in the shade light this is a sample this is really really yellow and dark so I'm gonna get rid of this because it just doesn't work for me and it actually expired 11 2014 so I'm just going to go ahead and toss this out these are samples let's see this is the Tarte smooth operator Amazonian clay tinted pressed finishing powder in light so that's what it looks like and I haven't really used this so I need to give it some use I've swatched it it feels really smooth and it has more of a yellow undertone which is perfect so I'm going to keep this 
This is the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Foundation Powder in 04. And I think I've used this maybe once or twice. I do really like this. It's a really nice powder. It's really, really soft and smooth. So I'm going to keep this one. Um, I've actually considered purchasing the full size of this, but I have so many powders I need to get through first. And don't mind my nails. Oh my gosh, I didn't even tell you guys about how crappy my nails look in this video. Um, it's been hard painting my nails um, with my daughter, so I don't really want to paint them around her so she doesn't smell the fumes. So anyways, uh, I'm going to keep this. So this is the IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination. Yes, and this is in the shade Fair. I used to have this a long time ago. I did a review on it and I didn't like it, so I returned it. But then I bought a set on QVC. And the reason I bought the set was because I wanted the blush and the brush that came in it, but it also came with this, which I wasn't really crazy about. So I thought I was gonna sell this, and then I thought, okay, I'll give it another shot. But I really haven't been loving it that much. Um, I'm gonna try to give it a little bit more use. I don't like it as a powder foundation, and it really accentuate, accentuates my pores. So I'm gonna use it more to set my liquid foundation but I have to use it very lightly because I still feel like it accentuates my pores because it has that illuminating factor to it but as you can see I've used it quite a bit I keep trying to love it but I just don't so I'm gonna keep it just because I'm gonna try to use it up I'm gonna try maybe I could just use it to set my under eye concealer I don't know I'm gonna try to make it work if I don't start using it though I'm gonna get rid of it so this is the Milani Even Touch Powder Foundation in 01 Shell. Um, I've had this for quite a while. I've used it quite a bit. It is really soft and smooth. Um, I need to use this. I do like it. I'm not going to get rid of it. I do want to keep it. It also comes with one of those nice puffs that you can reuse and wash. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I do like this product. I just need to use it more. So this one's a keeper. This is the Lorac Oil-Free Wet-Dry Powder, and I have the shade WD 2.5. I don't know what W, oh, WD means wet-dry. 2.5 is the shade, so that's what it looks like. This is the packaging. So this is also really nice and smooth, more of a yellow undertone. Definitely gonna keep this. I've never tried it wet. I've only tried it dry. So I do like this powder. I just need to use it more. And it also comes with one of those puffs that I like. So I'm gonna keep this one. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face Compact in Light. They actually describe this as a powder foundation, I believe on the website, but it doesn't say that anywhere on here, which is very strange. But this is my second one. I used up the first one. I absolutely love this. It's really smooth on the skin. I just like it to set my, um, uh, liquid foundation so this is a really 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 great product I highly recommend it um, this one's brand new I've never even opened it so I'm gonna keep it that way until I get some uh, until I get through some of these other powders so I'm gonna keep this one this is the Kat Von D locket tattoo powder foundation in light 45 this is a product I really do love um, I like it as a powder foundation I like it as a setting powder for my liquid foundation the only thing is I had a a lot of trouble finding a shade match but I think since they've come out with some new shades I think um, this one is just kind of light it's just too light for me I realize so I need like a step up a little bit darker but I really do like this it gets great coverage it's nice and smooth and it's just a great product as you can see it's very well loved and it comes with one of those powder puffs that I like so I'm gonna keep this one this is the Sonia Kashuk brightening powder and I, this is my second one of these, so I do like this product. Um, I don't like it as much as I used to because I found other products that I've liked more, but it's just a translucent powder. And it has like little light reflecting crystals, kind of like the um, NARS one does. So I think it's a great alternative to that. Um, I do like this, it's a great setting powder, but like I said, I've come across other ones that I like more, so I don't think I would repurchase this once it's all gone, but I do like it. So I'm going to keep that. So this I got in a boxy charm. This is the Your Minerals Sweden Transparent Veil. And it's just a translucent setting powder. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I've used it a couple times. I'm still kind of testing it out to see if I like it. But I'm going to keep it for now. 
This is the Laura Geller Matte Maker Invisible Oil Blotting Powder. It's just a little sample. It's a little mini. So I've used this a couple times. It's really not that soft. It's kind of gritty. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I don't really like it that much. This is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and it just says Mineral Veil. I tried to use this recently. It was brand new, but it's just too dark. I don't know. It just, it like tinted. It was tinted, so it, it's just too dark for my skin. I don't know. So I'm going to get rid of this. This is the Makeup Forever Micro Finish Micro Finish High Definition Powder. Sorry, I'm like totally brain farting right now. I don't like this as much as the pressed version, but I do want to use this up, so I'm going to keep it. Um, I'll probably get through this pretty quickly, so I need to keep this out so I use it up. This is the Mary Kay Translucent Loose Powder, and I've been using this recently. It's okay. Um, I don't like too many of these. Like, I don't love too many of these loose translucent powders a lot. I find that I'm liking more pressed and um, some with a slight yellow undertone more, but I do think it's okay, so I'm going to use it up. I'm going to keep that. This is the Tarte Smooth Operator Micronized Clay Finishing Powder with PM20. I'm not sure what PM20 is, but I'm going to keep this and use it up. Um, I don't even know that I... Oh yeah, I think I did use this once. I'm going to use this up. These little samples, I should just mix them all together and use them up, <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep them separate. And this is the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. This is also a sample. Um, I don't think I've opened this one. So I need to use this one up as well. These are the Tarte, what are the, the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation and they're both in fair light neutral. I don't think I've ever tried these. No, I have not, but I'm going to keep them. I do want to give them a try. I don't really like loose powder foundations. I'll probably use this more as a setting powder over my liquid very lightly. So I'm going to keep both of these. This is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. I know a lot of people love this. I think it's okay. I don't like love it. Why does that look weird in color? Oh no, that looks okay. It looked almost gray there for a second. Oh, it's like lint or something. What is that? Oh. Anyway, it has like little light reflecting particles in there. And a lot of people love this for the under eye. I hate the packaging. It's so tiny. I wish it came in a bigger packaging. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this and use it up because I'm sure I can use it up pretty quickly. But I don't think I would purchase this because it's like not my favorite. And then last but not least, I have these e.l.f. high definition powders. Uh, well, actually, this is a high definition powder right here, and it's so messy. And the last time I used this, it balled up really weird. I don't know. It was strange. I don't know if it was what I used under it or what. It's really, really smooth. I'm going to try to use this. Um, and if it balls up really weird again, like right there, there's a little ball. That's weird. But I'm going to try to use this up. Um, but I wouldn't purchase this because it's just so freaking messy with that. Do you see all that powder going everywhere? Ugh. Use my little wet wipe to clean it. I don't like gritty products. Like some people, their products are full of fingerprints and makeup. It just grosses me out. <laughs> I'm just a freak like that. So I don't like when there's a bunch of makeup all gooped up on products. So I'm going to keep that for now. Test it out, see if I like it. And then this one is the e.l.f. SPF 45 Sunscreen UVA UVB Protection Powder, I guess. It's in sheer. I've never even opened this. It just looks... I'm going to keep this. I haven't used it. See if I like it. And then if I don't, I'll just get rid of it. But like I said, I didn't get rid of, rid of very many products. Um, I'm trying to use up most of my powders. I really want to use a lot of them up, so that's the story.
and I'm sticking to it. I also have this in my powder drawer. It's the Stila All Stay All Day Prime and Anti Shine Balm. It primes, mattifies, and diffuses pores. I tried using this over, like when I would get oily, I would kind of dab it on my face to pick up any excess oil throughout the day. But I think I'm going to start using it more as a primer because you can also use it for that. It's kind of like the Mali Pore Defender or something like that. Some people really like that product. So I'm going to try this in a different way. I'm actually going to move it to my primer drawer. But I am going to keep it, see if I like it as a primer. If not, I'm going to get rid of it. But I'm keeping that for now. So I'm only getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six products. Not very many, but like I said, I'm trying to use up most of these powders. I really don't want to buy any more until I use them up. And I've hit pan on quite a few, so I'm actually proud of that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed and have a fabulous day. Bye.